So all these years playing center field out in Archbold, the wind is swirling. How, uh, how difficult does that make that to play center field? It, it does make it kind of difficult, but playing here over the years, you kind of get used to it and you just know it's going to happen. So you just get, you get used to it. So in college, you want to play, you want to play center field to start? Yeah. Um, I'm fit to play center. I've got the speed to play center, but I have the arm in right field too. So I, I kind of fit in both fields, but center field is definitely my favorite to play. Why Ohio State? Why did, uh, why did Ohio State become the one that you wanted? I'm a Buckeye fan. I'm a Buckeye fan. It's always been my dream school. And just visiting down there, I fell in love with the coaching staff and the facilities and the school. So that just made it obvious to me. What's that like to know that you get to go to your dream school? Like that's, that's pretty cool. Not everybody gets to go to the, the dream number one school. It's awesome. Um, it takes a lot of stress off your shoulders. So as, as a kid, you're always thinking about that. And to have the actual opportunity to go there, it's pretty awesome. Losing your senior year at Archbold, how tough was that when you guys finally realized this wasn't going to happen? It was tough. I mean, I thought this team this year had something pretty special. So it was tough, but I feel a little more bad for the this other seniors because this is their last opportunity to ever play the game. And for me, I have the opportunity to maybe make a career out of it and play the next four years at least. But so for me, it's not as bad knowing that, but I just feel bad for the other guys. All right, where did the, the love for baseball start? Um, I've been playing baseball since I was a little kid. Just growing up, my parents always took me to high school baseball games, mud hen games, and college games, and just watching that just really helped me see how fun it looked and just gave me a passion for the game. All right, the art of hitting. Who taught you how to hit? Um, up through high school, my dad was actually my hitting coach. So he taught me everything he knew, and we just utilized like YouTube and other hitting sources. But the last few years, I've Tom Runnels has been one of my hitting coaches, and Tyler Mitchell from PPA. And I work with them about once a week, so they've kind of been helping me out. But up until then, it's mainly just been my dad, just me and him. Tom's as good as it gets. Like, dude, think about it. Like, you're sitting here working. You get to work with a dude that was just literally sitting on major league benches for all these years with Carlos Gonzalez. Like, think of how ridiculous I know. He, he's, he's told me a lot of his stories about his, his career in the majors and then his coaching and managing after. So he's got some pretty cool stories to listen to. So every time I go work with him, it's just fun to listen to him talk. Oh, that was money. There we go. All right. I just want to make it clear. It took at least 15 pitches before he took me deep. There you go. Ball in the outer half, going the opposite way. Power to all fields. <laughs> Love it. He doesn't know, but I'm going to throw him a curveball here. Oh, I hung it. Oh, I hung it. And he hit it off the scoreboard. Ooh. Ooh, got me. <laughs> I got it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>